guys when you think of Redwoods, like a big part of their midfield in terms of their history. Burns left alone and he scores! Made the Redwoods pay. Forcing the turnover quickly in front. There's your man, Berg. He's been doing it all season long, right on the mouth of the goal. The quintessential crease attack man from British Columbia puts the woods on the board. This is all about Romar Dennis. Romar Dennis dominated this possession. It starts defensively. Know your scout. You're involved in a two-man game on Josh Byrne. Let's blow that up. Let's double-team that. I think he caught Byrne a little bit by surprise. The remarkable job by Dennis here. You're going to see this man sets the pick, and he explodes off of that. That double-team causes the turnover. Dennis picks it up, and in transition, they're, the chaos is substituting behind the play, so Berg left all by himself right on the crease. But what an individual two-way effort there by Romar Dennis. About kind of sliding up field, that would've been back-to-back. -back. Self-inflicted wounds. Here's Pinnell, up top. Kirstel shoots from two, scores! Now we got a little pushing and shoving. To that exact point you just made. Dave, look at that pass. Look at that pass and goal. Smithers on the receiving end. A little touch pass. How does Dave Smith do it? I mean, he's got a defender draped all over him. But I love how aggressive he was coming out of the box. Again, it's a five on five scenario. You can see Sexton with that hold and Glazner just hedges for a split second on that roll. So, so often when you see an offense, remarkable body control and stick work by Smith. Used to say back when we used to wear the bucket helmets, when you see the laces, yes. that's when you make your move. Could get a shot here from Paul, and we do, and it's a goal. And it's Owen Grant. You and I talked before this game, and you said anyone should just never leave the field. To me, he is the biggest wild card on Redwoods. He is just, he was my favorite pole coming out of college this past year. Oh, oh! oh they get the rebound, will it count? It will! No surprise on who cashes in on the rebound. Gage to Pinnell. Coming out of the box, it's Bertrand, full head of steam. Over the shoulder, oh! scores! RB, so many times those are instinctual. I felt like he planned that over the shoulder. You could see him, the gear. Pinnell, here's Garnsey on the okay. near wing. Good look inside, Bird finishes. This is the passing. Jules once again will look to dodge out of the box. Man, that guy right there is on fire. He cannot be stopped. And he's so smart. So we're going to get in a two-man game between Berg and Henningberg. They don't really gain an advantage, per se. Seven saves so far in this first half. Berg again! He's on fire, Connor. He is on fire. Time out, too. It's not often you hear Andy Towers, the head coach for Chaos, have to motivate his team, but he was getting after him. He said, the body language has got to change. Stop feeling sorry for yourself and play as a team. We're all on the same side of the fence. Wow, and now everybody is starting to get involved. Jules Henningberg finds the back of the net. Blaze is not his usual self like we saw at the beginning of the game. And the Redwoods are taking full advantage. They've hit their last five shots. Henningberg 
I'm surprised he kind of dodged back to the alley. He's going right at Bowen. You know, that's one that, frankly, plays normally comes up with. It sticks side high. He's just not seeing the ball right now, Cotter. At offensively. Here's another one for Berg. Same spot. This is a disaster for chaos as Berg is just setting up shop over there on the far wing. And, and it's just a heads-up play by Ted. Going Redwood's way right now. Under 10 to shoot. Jules scores! We talked about him when we talked through the lineups. His ability to win his one-on-one -on -one matchups at Youth Burke. Uh, both of them back on defense. Way to go, way to go. It's a full way team go. effort, full field today for Redwoods. Behind the back pass, it's gonna be a look and it bury the shot. So Cloutier with the behind the back pass and Burke finishes it off. Now it goes to Nick Rowlett, because Chaos need a couple. They, they need a couple in this last minute. They need a little bit of juice. They need drawing penalties is a skill, and Garnsey's fantastic at it. He is a pest. Bertrand shoots and scores. Blaine's got a piece of it, just not enough. And the penalty comes back to haunt Chaos. They add the turnover, the late hill down on the far end as they're letting the Chaos play on this side. Inside, Cloutier gets a goal and a flag to boot. Now we'll get the whistles. We uh, check on, we'll check on Henningberg on the far side. You're gonna wave off the push. Goal's gonna be good. Let's hear from Matty. Good goal on the play. We had a push against Redwoods on the play. That foul's canceled, all even face off. And then on the back side, here's Jules, training staff coming out to check out Henningberg. He was slow to get up, limping a little bit. You can see him favoring it. Let's take a look at the goal first. Yeah, Ryan Smith gets to the middle of the field. Cloutier just backdoors his man, flashes his stick. He's such a big load, he's able to take the impact and still finish. Again, it's Cohen inside. Point earlier, he's gonna be forced to play more offense. Dane Smith shoots and scores! Looked like it fooled Kelly a little bit. Shipping away, RB. Picture perfect start to the second half if you're a Chaos fan. And that's the level of urgency you have to have coming off a face-off win. You can see Dane Smith roll to the inside, kind of got hooked there. You can see him complaining after the play right there. I mean, that's a hold. He's holding his jersey. But he sees that short stick matchup. Earlier we saw him roll and dish. Here you can see him scanning the field, scanning the field. Where's the slide? He recognizes that nobody's ready to help right away. So when I come out of that roll. Dane Smith down on shorty. Now he's inverted. Okay, slow here. Inside, great look to Minicus. Beautiful feed by Dane Smith. He may have to pitch a shutout. Berg gets it a stick. He just finds a way to get the ball in his cross. He catches everything and he buries everything. That is seven. Ties the PLL record, and this is one of those, it's better to be lucky than good, right? Sometimes. There you got it, Cluche in the middle. This league, you'll have your chance next week. Yeah. Now, Dennis, Ooh. he'll fire with some heat on it. You think about this Redwoods offense Garnsey, goose eggs, he's got an assist, zero goals. Pinnell, zero goals. It's been burned. 
Chaos get one back. Be hit right at the two minute mark. Don't forget we got water dogs and whip snakes coming your way at about 2.20 Eastern time on ES. You can hear the reaction on that Grant run out, just the rookie showing effort. Smithers paints a corner in the final seconds. Water Dogs, our final score, Redwoods advance. They'll take on Archers next week. 15 to nine, the final score. Kelly was sensational. Bergie with seven goals. The Woods are moving on. For Ryan Boyle, Dana Boyle, and our entire crew, I'm Chris Goddard. Thanks for watching the PLL on ESPN. We'll see you back here in about 20 minutes.